Hi guys. Hi. How you doing? I feel very happy right now. This is what my face feels like. I'm feeling happy. Happy because I got a smile. See? Shelly doesn't look so happy. Shelly, with this feeling chart, can you point to the one that you're feeling? Sad. You're feeling sad. Don't get to see my family very much. Oh, because they're staying home because of the COVID virus. Yeah. This is what Shelly's feeling. She's feeling sad. She's feeling sad. She misses her family. So something that Shelly can do is I can talk to her about some stuff that makes her happy. Like she likes to sew. She likes to make gifts for her granddaughters. See, she's smiling now. She likes to FaceTime with her grand, some of her grandkids. So are you feeling happy now, Shelly? Yes. That makes me happy. Okay. So we're going to show you the how do you feel chart. All right. And I'm going to put this on the website so that you guys can see it and print it at home if you have a printer. So this is the happy. Okay. It's when you're smiling. Everything's going good. You had a good breakfast. Then we have sad. I'm sad. <gasps> then we have scared. <gasps> a lot of people are feeling scared because they don't understand about why they can't go to school right now. And we have angry. Some people are angry because they can't go to school. Some people are feeling frustrated. Because it's hard to do schoolwork on the computer. Some people are feeling anxious because they really don't know what they're expected to do. Some people are feeling disappointed because they don't get to see their friends or their teachers at school. I know I'm disappointed because I don't get to see you guys, my students, at school every day. And then some people are feeling calm. Calm because they understand that this COVID virus is going to go away and they're going to be able to come back to school and see their teachers and friends. So we're going to put that down. But with the lesson that we put on, sorry, with the lesson that is up on the website, I'm going to put this up there as well so that you guys can download it and use it as a way to express your feelings to your family. Okay, plus there's going to be some bigger ones, like there's going to be a bigger happy. That one's sad. Oh, bigger sad. A bigger happy face. A bigger angry. And a bigger scared. The best thing to do when you feel scared is to talk to somebody you trust. If it's one of your parents, or it can be one of your sisters or brothers, grandparents, neighbor, somebody you can trust. Okay? All right, so that's what we've done for our lessons about understanding our emotions. Emotions are not bad things. When you feel angry, it's just part of who you are. It's how you express what you're feeling. If you express how you're feeling in a way that's destructive, it's your actions that you need to remember to, to take control over. If you're angry, but you take deep breaths, Shelly and I are gonna show you how to take them. Ready?
take three deep breaths and that will help you to calm down. And then when you feel calm, you'll be able to deal with how you're feeling and, and make it easier for other people around you. And you can say, I was feeling angry, but now I'm calm. But can I tell you about why I was angry? And then you can turn to your friend or your brother and sister and say, I was angry because you took my book that I was reading. But now I think I'm okay because I'm going to let you have a turn to read the book and then I will refinish reading the book. Okay? So that's a demonstration of how to understand and calmly work through our emotions. For you guys, when you have a hard time and you can't communicate with mom or dad, sometimes you cry out or you scream because something hurts, that's okay to do that as long as you can get somebody's attention. And then they can use this to help you look at the emotions that you're feeling. And you can use your eyes to help them understand which emotion you're feeling. Okay? And if it's one of the emotions that's printed big, it'll make it easier because then you can show two different emotions at one time. And you can use eye gaze. You can either look at this one that's showing that you're happy or this one that's showing that you're angry. And that will help your family to know how you're feeling. Because it's not, it doesn't help anything when you can't communicate. And you can communicate. You have a voice. Okay, we'll tell you more about this later. Bye. Have a good one. Bye.